Try to talk me down from this. Do you believe in coincidences? Do you believe that everything online, that there are no, no death cults, there are no organized gang stalkers, people that do th- outrageous acts online to promote some kind of agenda or for attention or any of that stuff? Do you believe that? Do you believe that none of it exists, that, that the internet is a very safe place? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Talk me down because there was an explosion this morning at 1 a.m. in a Texas city. And one uh, YouTuber that we all know and love that I've covered uh, extensively was predicting it all along. And suddenly there's an explosion in a chemical plant down in Texas. You heard? So we're going to jump into this. And I want you to talk me down. Tell me, tell me I'm crazy. I'm not, I'm not pointing the finger. This is all hypothetical. It's just a working theory based on some evidence that I saw. More, I'm going to show you the evidence. I'm going, to, I'm going to explain to you the story first. So a chemical plant blast has injured three and caused extensive damage to a Texas city as a fire continues to burn. An explosion rocked the chemical plant early Wednesday in Texas, about 1 a.m., causing extensive damage across the small port city of Port Niches, leaving uh, at least um, three employees injured. A chemical fire continued to burn at the site, and a mandatory evacuation order has been issued within a half mile of the TPC group plant, about 90 miles east of Houston. Um, right, so here's the, here's the port of Niches, right? This is Texas. Port, Port of Arthur, Port of Nietzsche's, right? It's in, the, it's in the Gulf of Mexico and Texas. Here's Corpus Christi, just keep in mind. Here's Houston, Port of Nietzsche's, Houston, Corpus Christi, right? You see, the, you see where it is? Okay, just keep it in mind. Just put it in your head for a second. There's extensive damage throughout the city, uh, Port of Nietzsche's police uh, said. Please stay off the roads, anywhere near the refineries, obey all barricades, and are in place. We are doing everything we can to keep everyone safe. Let's look at the videos. Let's listen. Breaking news now, if you're just waking up, a plant exploded overnight in Port Natchez. This is a live look. I'm going to play the suspect video at the end. Watch the evidence first. Watch what happened. Watch the incident first. And then we'll look at the evidence video because it's still up. With the sun starting to rise, you can see the enormous plume of smoke from miles away. At least three people were hurt, but no one has died. So we know now that that plant is owned by TPC Group, which is based here in Houston. And according to its website, it produces a variety of chemicals at its facilities in Houston, Lake Charles, and Port Natchez. That is where this explosion happened. So that plant makes butadiene and raffinate. So what are these chemicals? Butadiene is a colorless gas. It's used to make synthetic rubber, and we know it's a known human carcinogen. Now, as for raffinate, it's basically what's left over after something else has been extracted. Be sure to stick with. So that's one. That's one report telling you what's burning. What the hell is burning? Let's look here. What's this one? This is uh, NBC. Blew off part of my friend's roof. An explosion at the TPC There's plant players. in Port Nietzsche's, Texas. Ah, what a blaze. Yo, look at that inferno. Can't go up a real fire a real a real fire with chemicals burning what's this one here's another one so this is a ongoing fire you see the the blaze it's still lit it looks like it's already daytime where is it is it cloudy i don't know is it nighttime nonetheless if the explosion happened at one o'clock in the morning the stuff is still burning they haven't put out the fire yet so that's what it looks like the port city of Nietzsche's, Port Nietzsche's chemical plant in Texas. Right? Keep it in mind, not Corpus Christi, but Port Nietzsche's. The prediction was 
the the allegation was that it would go off in uh, it would go off in Corpus Christi. So here's a lot of aerial shots, a lot of smoke. You see some of these maybe liquefied natural gas tanks over here, oil oil tanks, whatever they are. They're probably LNG tanks. They, that's what they look like, short LNG tanks. I'm no expert. I'm just guessing, just hypothetical. Right? And here's the port. You see the water. Right? That's probably where the boats come in. It is in the port city. Some horrific fire going on. Doesn't look. It is light out, so it is daytime. It's now probably a five-hour, seven-hour uh, fire, burning carcinogenic smoke. And there's an aerial shot. Wow. That's that's cancer smoke. Go ahead, get bad news, right? So let's continue. Let's continue looking at the evidence. Let's hear uh, ABC report. In Texas, multiple explosions rocking a chemical plant blowing out doors on nearby homes, forcing mandatory evacuations. Marcus Moore has the latest for us. Good morning, Marcus. Well, Robin, good morning. That mandatory evacuation still in effect this morning for the area immediately around the explosion site as that fire continues to burn. Overnight, a massive explosion at this chemical plant in Port Natchez, Texas, lighting up the night sky, causing neighborhood evacuations and powerful enough to blow out windows at homes several miles away. My dining room ceiling can't <clears throat> crashing down. The plant, which is located about an hour and a half from Houston, produces chemical and petroleum-based products and has 125 employees. I hope that uh, everybody inside the plant is okay. Right now, that's that's a big concern. The first call was received at one o'clock this morning. We are pretty much in bed, but uh, it came in two waves. The first one we heard, uh, you, you saw the light flash. I mean, you, you saw the light and you felt the house rattle and it sounded like a thunder in the distance but uh about a second or two later the 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 like a shock wave sort of uh hit the house and uh, in my house uh it was pretty loud uh it was very loud uh mainly because the front door blew in and the door frame blew out mike tobias works for the local school he was ordered to evacuate so at that point, I thought the, the house was coming down. And the first instinct was grab the kids. We needed to get out of the house. And three workers suffered injuries. And this morning, it's still unclear what caused that explosion and fire. Cecilia. Frightening scene there. Okay, Marcus, thank you. So moving right along, moving right along, right? So here's a video, right? Is there any coincidence? Is there any coincidences? Do we believe that these, these, these groups online, that people get radicalized online, that there's, there's uh, people out there looking to do very bad things? Now, this could be a complete, I hope it's a complete coincidence. But just to cover, I've already, I've already informed the FBI. They've been called. There's, I, have the, I have an extensive recording of the call. And all names and information has been given. The video has been viewed the url is documented the name of the of the author is documented so everything is documented and i take offense to this video why because first of all it includes this reporter as suspect in blowing something up in texas right that's what it that's what it does right. so let's watch the evidence video it's at i love sdny uh who is that my strange dream about Corpus Christi movie, unlisted, right? And who are these fine people in the chat? Matthew Kyle, Kenneth Sandrid, Quantum Larp Bot, ah, uh, Crypto Beast, Crypto Beast. That's uh, Steve Outram. Steve Outram is in the chat, right? It seems to be an unlisted publication. This is David Acton, D. George Swagger. All right. This is Dave Acton, the actor, brother of George Webb, D. George Swaggart, David Swaggart, David Acton, Swaggart, all information given to the FBI. Let's watch the video in its entirety. Now, everybody, it's Dave. Welcome back to our hypothetical and theoretical analysis of those legal issues that we have a scholarly interest in. 
no matter how illogical and incomprehensible. So I'm uh, doing some work on the trailer, and I have to admit that all the solar stuff went to that side because that's where the power cutover switch is. So when I'm hooked up to what they call shore power, when you're on commercial AC power electricity, then it will automatically switch all the circuits to AC shoreline power. That's called shoreline power, shore power, docking, whatever. So there's a little bit of this mystique of the maritime community because it's sort of like a boat. You know, you have the same electrical systems as a boat. A lot of the parts and pieces that you can get are boat parts and pieces. And this switch right here is actually a boat switch. But I can turn on the inverter, okay? You see now we have inverter, now we have commercial power. If I pull the plug on commercial power, then what would happen is it would all automatically switch over to battery power and yeah, the battery inverter. So that's that section. And then this is just a preliminary. He's going to draw in the exact well, not the exact, but he's going to draw a picture of blowing up a port, blowing up a ship loaded up with liquefied natural gas. We're just charging up some tools right now for some uh, work tomorrow. And over here I can... For the record, the date is November 25th. Today is 1127. Unaltered, on YouTube, still up. I'm viewing it from YouTube. My Strange Dream About Corpus Christi Movie, 13 likes. I'll give it a dislike. Eight, the share. Let's see, let's see what the URL looks like. Here's the URL for you. There's this URL. Okay. What else can we document about this? What else can we document about this? Open. Okay. We'll try to, we'll look at this. Maybe not. His... The site seems to be blocked. Hey, something. I can make notes. Okay, just for the record. So now let's watch the um, let's watch the the actual plot. <laughs> this is perfect. You know, I had this really crazy dream. It was really super crazy. So there was this lady in Corpus Christi, and she was all upset and anti-government because her daughter was murdered and it was never investigated. See? So he's talking about he's talking about the woman her name is Truth Convoy Denise Mattel. The woman in Corpus Christi who did this excellent video about the death cult uh, meltdown, if you want to watch that. I I I did. I would love it. Love the video. I said quality stuff. Thank you. All right. So that's who he's talking about. He's talking about the woman in Corpus Christi. Texas. See, but this is a movie plot. It's called Corpus Christi. Corpus Crispy. That's the name of the movie. So she's putting out all this stuff on social media about how much she hates the government. And there's these two jerks in New York City. And one used to own a drone company. And the other was a disgruntled worker for a trash company. And so... so so he's, he's implicating two jerks from New York. Who are those two jerks? I work for the Department of Sanitation, and Jason Goodman, I, he's, he's insinuating that owned a drone company, right? Corpus Christi is, is Denise Matow. He's implicating me, this reporter, Marcus Conti, and Jason, Jason Goodman. So they kind of picked up on her. These two guys made a lot of videos together. They hang out with each other. They shop together. And so they said, hey, we could exploit her. All false, all lies. We could exploit her. This is just in the dream. It was a dream. And so I'm like, how do you want to exploit her? Well, the LNG, liquid natural gas tankers, go right by her house in Corpus Christi. They go right by her house. And these two guys are thinking to themselves, we could go down there and kind of hold her hostage and use her house as a command post. And I know it gets pretty bizarre 
thinking about somebody like Denise. I mean, she's a cutout. I'm not saying it is Denise. This is hypothetical, theoretical. Any similarity to any real people is purely coincidental. But can you imagine her tied up in a chair with a handkerchief around her mouth going, with all these cockroaches call, crawling all over her? Man, I mean, uh, the audience would just be shrieking, right? So what? So he talks about, he, he's talking about a, a kidnapping. He's talking about tying a woman up with roaches all over her. Right? Uh, it couldn't be anybody else. Denise Corpus Christi confirmed. She lives in Corpus Christi. I know who she's talking about. I know who he's talking about. I live in New York. Goodman apparently lives in New York, too, on 7th Avenue. Uh, the audience would just be shrieking, right? So one of these guys brings his drone down that has a flamethrower on it. And if you look on eBay, you can buy flamethrower drones. So what they do is when this tanker's coming and they have these little towers on it, the drone flies out and goes to the control tower. It freaks out the pilot and he runs the ship aground. He just steers out of the way because the flame frightens him because if there's any vapors around those LNG tanks, boom, it's three mile instant destruction. If this thing goes up, oh, let's take a look at the rest of the, it's all gonna get cleaned up, folks. Is it all just coincidental that he's making a video about blowing up a blowing up liquefied gas on a boat using a, a, a flamethrower and a drone purchased on eBay? Is it all just coincidence in his tool shed? A guy who seems to be mechanically savvy talking about this kind of stuff two two days before it actually happens in a port city, trying to frame two two YouTube guys from New York and a and a YouTube lady from, from Texas? Is it all just coincidence? It's all going to get cleaned up. Anyway, if an LNG tanker goes up for three miles, everything's gone. Now, if there's no explosion, the cloud, the gas cloud, will kill everything for a mile and a half. So if this thing was a mile and a half to the command post, or that would be the cockroach, cockroach headquarters, if that's a mile and a half away, just the gas alone would kill all the cockroaches. Isn't that a strange dream? It was a dream. It was a very strange dream. Who are these two guys? And why would they want to fly a drone with a flamethrower? And why does this guy from the trash company being so nice to this lady? It's because they want to use her house as a command post. That's what's going on, folks. It's a dream. It's a dream. I think it'd make a great movie. He's a total psychopath. The total psychopath. What do you think? What do I think? What do I think? Uh, I'll tell you what I think. Well, I already told the FBI what I think. I just want to, for the record, it's uh, 1.35 p.m. New York time. The call was made and recorded uh, to the FBI at about 12, uh, 12 noon New York time. So about an hour and a half ago from making this video, Here's the number it called. I would suggest anybody involved in this call to clarify uh, with the FBI if you're not already contacted by the FBI. Um, right? That's all. What do I think? I think that it is incomprehensible to think that there's that there, there there's absolutely no connection here. What else is this? And this is again. This is uh, Denise Matal. She's the Corpus Christi lady. It's really tragic what's going on with these people who've been groomed. And it is a death cult. A woman calls herself Millie Rue is not a woman, by the way, that's a man. We know exactly who that is. The, um, The targeting of people in my age group is interesting because this cluster of joke activists, LARPers, whatever they want to call themselves, it's a cult, okay. They have people in my age group that they can bully into being used and we're supposed to allow it. 
because they know we can't spend Social Security suing them for using our images, chopping up our videos, and then having people like Tammy Mathis D. George Swigert, Thomas Schoenberger, you know, they do their chat routine. They have their script. Tamara Wolf, by the way, she is not in Arkansas. They groomed Clovis. Clovis believes her. So this is, um, again, this is Denise Matow of Truth Convoy doing a, uh, a very extensive review of this particular She's calling it a cult. She's calling it a death cult. She's calling it um, bullying elders, elderly into to be used, uh, and we're supposed to take it. She called it a patriotic stalking ring, addicted to their own pain and suffering. She calls it a gang, a cult, terrorists. When you can't use logic on someone, they are brainwashed. This is a death cult. Right. using live streams to incite violence. Two covens trying to outdo each other. And at the higher level, military and ex-military and rogue military, a, des a desire to destroy this country. They find people to do it. That's, that's, what's in this, that's what's in this video if you want to watch it. And it is riveting because I don't follow the details of this stuff. The video link was sent to me through an anonymous drop, right? So now, so I, I now have it. So again, to review, the port of Nietzsche's is on fire. There was a threat in Corpus Christi by one D. George Schwaggart was made. And um, let me get out of this. Marcus Conti reporting, excuse me. So, so to recap, is it coincidental that two days ago, a man sits in a, in a tool shed or a roaming operation center of some sort, a roaming tool shed with tools all over the place, plotting uh, a movie that he calls it, a theory about getting a drone on eBay and, and, and uh, attaching a flamethrower to it and flying it over a Texas port, blowing up three square miles and blaming it on a woman who had been, who had been um, uh, communicating and on the bad side of this rogue individual. Now, again, this is not to, to discuss Acton's attacks at me, his personal attacks, repeated on and on attacks. Just, to, just, to, just the facts. And if I were Mr. Schwager, I would be calling the FBI right now to explain to him that he had nothing to do with it. Because if it is a simple mistake, then it's a simple mistake. But it, for me, there's too, many, there's, too many, um, there's too many connecting dots here, right? That's why I called the FBI. That's why, so they've been notified. So again, it's not a, this is not a smear piece. This is not an attack. This is evidence. Someone is, is talking about flying a, a, a flame shooting throne over a boat and blowing it up, blaming two guys from New York who want to kidnap a lady in Texas. Right? They want to kidnap a lady in Texas, tie her up and throw roaches on her. What kind of psychopath would come up with an idea like that? What kind of shit is that? I, I never, I never see, I, I think, you know, is it, is this, are these people playing with a full deck? Even if, even if you didn't do it, you're inciting this sort of thing by putting out videos on YouTube. That's precisely what I'm trying to say with the Anthony Camillo murder. How a kid can get stuck down a rabbit hole, listen to some crazy person like Dave Acton talk about blowing up ships using a flame, dro uh, a, a flame shooting drone, right? And then he turns around, in a, in a, down, he's down a rabbit hole talking about killing off uh, people in the deep state, maybe the, the mob boss or maybe the mayor of New York City or maybe a couple of Congress people, whoever. Whoever the cult thinks is, is uh, whoever the leader says to attack, right? Is acting a, a leader of some sort? All I know, he's, he's got to step forward and, and uh, I'm sure he's going to see this. 
Mr. Acton, I would suggest that you contact the FBI. I gave you the number uh, and clarify. You're welcome to use my name. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you'll blame it all on me. I'm sure you're going to sue me for talking about it. I'm sure, I'm sure, oh, you're going to fuck up. I'm going to fucking sue that guy. Uh, just be, be sensible. You put out a video, and if it is coincidental, it's, co it's just a coincidence. That's all it is. Uh, it's a coincidence. But, but you, you have to, are you, what blew up? First, let's, let's find out what blew up in Texas. Was it a drone? Was it a fire shooting drone? I don't know. We may never find out. But the coincidence of a port blowing up in Texas it had my hand shaken when I was watching it. So Marcus Conte reporting. Still reporting.